Many types of apples, pears and plums can be grown at home, including delicious varieties that you just can't find in supermarkets, and the trees can be easily trained to fit the space you have available. They need to be planted correctly and be given careful treatment during the first year in order to establish healthy root systems. In this video, we'll show you how. The cheapest way to add fruit trees to your garden is to choose bare-rooted trees which are sold without a pot and delivered while the weather is still cold and the plants are dormant. There are many things to consider when choosing which type and variety of fruit to grow, so research which varieties you want to grow and make sure you buy top quality trees at the right time of year. The number one priority is helping your new tree to establish a healthy root system. The best time to plant bare-rooted trees is before winter arrives in milder climates or alternatively toward the end of winter or the first half of spring, once the ground is no longer frozen but before new growth starts. Consult your supplier for advice on what is best for your growing area. Dig a hole to a spade's depth then around 3 feet or 1 meter wide. Although it's natural to dig a round hole, a square one is better as it encourages the roots to push out into the surrounding ground. Keep the soil you have removed and put it to one side. Add a few inches of good garden compost and work it into the base of the hole using a garden fork. Mixing is important so that the tree's roots don't meet a sudden boundary between compost and regular soil. Also, mix about a third by volume of compost into the soil you removed. Look for the slightly darker watermark on the tree's trunk that indicates where the soil level was when it was first grown. Place the bare-rooted tree in the centre of the hole and lay a cane across it so you can check that this watermark will sit at the soil level, as trees shouldn't be planted deeper or shallower than they were first grown. If necessary, add or remove soil to achieve this, it's really important to get this level right. Most fruit trees will be grafted onto a rootstock and the join should always be above the ground. Remove the tree and place it to the side. Insert a thick wooden stake a couple of inches from the centre of the hole and on the side where the prevailing wind comes from. Hammer this firmly into the ground. Place the tree back into the hole and position it so the trunk is close to the stake but not touching. Leave about two fingers width between them. Shovel the soil and compost mixture back around the roots. Gently firm this in with your boots, being careful not to damage the roots. When it's half full, pull the tree up an inch and then let it drop again to fill the soil in around the roots. Once all the soil has been added and firmed, use a tree strap to fix it to the stake, leaving enough room for the tree trunk to grow, but not so much that it wobbles about excessively. Also add a protective tube around the trunk if animals are a problem in your area. Add some organic fertiliser to the soil and lightly fork it in. Then cover it with a mulch or other covering such as a biodegradable hemp mat to suppress weeds. Water the soil well to stop the roots from drying out and to further settle the soil around them. The biggest cause of failure in newly planted fruit trees is from the lack of water in the first year of planting. Keep the tree well watered, especially through dry spells. A good soaking once or twice a week will promote healthy, strong roots and it's better than a more frequent surface watering. It's also vital to keep the area around the tree completely free of weeds and grass as they will compete with the young tree for water and nutrients. In the spring, it's tempting to leave some blossom to develop into fruit, but this will place the tree under stress. Removing it all will ensure your tree has the best chance of establishing well. You'll miss out on the first year's fruit, but the extra strength the fruit tree will gain will make you much more likely to get a bumper crop in the following years. Fruit trees are amongst the most productive and lowest maintenance plants in a garden and with careful planning you can easily achieve a very high value harvest every year. However, it's vital to get the spacing correct when planning your fruit garden and to consider how the trees will impact surrounding plants. Our garden planner now has over 50 fruit and nut trees and bushes, which can be added to your garden plans to make sure that the spacing and impact is correctly assessed. By clicking the information button you'll find all the essential information on how to grow it well, making it easy to choose the best fruit or nut tree for the area you have. As you pick up a fruit tree or bush, the circle around it shows the minimum spacing required. In most situations you should avoid overlapping these circles, and for larger trees you'll want to allow a bit more space as well. The further out from the centre, the less other plants will be affected by the fruit tree, drawing moisture and nutrients from the surrounding soil, which can help when planting vegetable beds near them. For several of the more common fruit, different icons are available depending on the rootstock they have been grafted onto and the shape of the final tree. For example, cordon apples, grown at a diagonal along a main trunk, 
can take much less room and are ideal for planting along a fence at close spacing. Larger apples may be trained into an espalier shape, while bigger trees make an excellent feature in the middle of a lawn and will yield correspondingly more fruit. Whether you're planting a whole orchard or selecting just a single cordon for a small corner of your garden, growing fruit is one of the most efficient forms of gardening. Once the trees are established, you can expect an abundant supply for decades with only a little pruning and mulching to keep them happy.